So here we have our Fluval Edge fixture. Uh, as you can see, nothing is powered on. The fans are off. I'm running uh, two 50-50 LED strips and one royal blue LED strip here. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, our brand new ballast box enclosure. Um, this enclosure is uh, essentially complete with the exception of uh, not being anodized. So it's still in a uh, kind of uh, a rough format in that sense. Uh, you can see here we are now including uh, manual dimmer options um, as, uh, or I should say controls as part of the default um, configuration. Uh, we have um, internal sliders here uh, to adjust the intensity for both channels. We have, you can see here, um, three-way rocker switches. Um, each switch is uh, corresponding with uh, one of the two channels here. Uh, like I said, they are three-way switches. Center position, which it's in now, uh, is the off position. Left-hand switch option uh, turns on the LEDs for uh, manual dimming control. And the right-hand option will turn the LEDs on in 100% intensity, disabling uh, the manual dimmer control. So you will get 100% intensity with this option, um, which goes in correspondence with uh, uh, these two uh, DC jacks here, which I'll explain shortly. So we have uh, the two switches for each one. We've got, again, the two uh, DC jacks for um, for automated dimming control. You've got your standard two three prong uh, power cords here. You've got uh, your wiring harness here, which you can see goes up to your fixture or LED kit, whichever product you happen to have purchased from us. And uh, finally, there is now a DC jack as well specifically for the fan. You can kind of read the label down there. It's a little hard to see, but it's there. Um, so you will plug in your fan power adapter into the box, if I can get it in here, and uh, then it'll, you know, control the fan on top of the uh, fixture. It's a little hard to do this one-handed, but you get the idea. So that goes in there, and uh, we've got the custom engraving on top of the uh, driver box itself as well and the engraving will be done um, with the uh, model number information that goes along with the particular product and uh, so let's give a little demonstration here so we've got the driver currently in the off position we will turn uh, both channels to the on position in the manual dimmer mode and you can see here the corner of the tank and this particular case I'm going to adjust the blue intensity from 0 to 100 percent you can kind of see the difference on in the tank it's significantly more noticeable in person than with the uh, uh, on the camera just because of the camera sensor and how it interacts with the LEDs I will do the 50-50s uh, now it adjusts the camera just for brightness that's why it doesn't appear to necessarily change as drastically but it definitely does change and I will change them both at the same time And that's kind of how that works. Obviously, uh, with this particular type of setup, you can have very specific arrangements depending on your personal taste, output um, uh, preferences, and everything else like that. Um, the other feature, again, is the fact that we have the triple rocker switch. So if I put them in 100% mode, it will turn the... Uh, 
uh, brightness up to 100%, or uh, as a new feature as well, if you have a, uh, an adjust, a reef keeper or something similar with an ALC module, you can plug in um, to these connections here another DC jack, which will bypass the um, manual dimming function. And you can see here I have a power supply to, uh, in this case, take the place of a reef keeper. And I'm running it at 0 0.01 volts right now, um, which can range up to 10 on the driver. So as I increase the intensity from 0 up to 10 volts, the intensity, oops, I went a little over 10, the intensity on the tank will increase. In this particular case, I happen to be running the 50-50s. Uh, I'm going to turn it down. Now, when you get to zero, it won't turn the LEDs all the way off. They'll just be running at their absolute minimum per the driver specifications. So you can see again here, we're at zero volts, essentially. I'm going to increase it back up to 10 again. And you can get see the idea there. I'll turn off the blues altogether, like so, so you can see the uh, the change. That's 100% on the 50/50s. Down to essentially a zero, and that's how that works. So you will need to turn the actual power source for the LEDs off. For example, on a timer or whatnot, if you decide to. Uh, uh, utilize the um, uh, automated dimming function because uh, uh, you have to actually, as you can see here, uh, cut power to the LEDs altogether uh, in order to get them to turn off, uh, whether you're using manual or automated dimming functions. So that's that, and um, you can again do that for both channels. We have uh, another jack there, and um, that's kind of uh, a tour of the whole setup there and we're really excited about this new uh, ballast box it's more feature filled than anything else that we've done before and uh, easier to use and we think everyone will like it